it's just my alarm saying it's time to go live. So I'm going live. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. I'll turn this down. That's down. Let's go on to our live over here. Okay. Here's me, View Channel, live. There we are. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live. Crocheting live on Fridays over at our junkie's house. How are you guys doing? Uh, put this over here. I got some stitch markers. Well, I need one of these over here. I'll just bring my little pot. I bring my little pot over as my stitch, my needle, mm, stitches, needles. Okay. This is when the brain, brain injury kicks in. I have aphasia, which means I have a hard time with words. This is not a stitch. It's not a, it's not a thing. It's pair of scissors. I got a pair of scissors. I got a needle to darn the ends, a darning needle. I stick that on my little thing. I stick that like that so that I can find it easy. And if they don't have to go hunting in the basket. I made this basket using t-shirt yarn. It's my little crochet basket. I put it beside my chair where I crochet in. I got some uh, pens in here. I got all my new clover hooks. Look at that, aren't they beautiful? Now I've got two stitches, two sixes. And I'll give one of them away in a, in a giveaway. There, I got all these. Oh, look at this one. I got this one at a secondhand store. Millard, made in England, a size eight. It's a tiny little you see that? It's a tiny little thread one. Okay, I'll put my little things in here. Everything goes in there. If you're here and you're hanging out like Janet Burgess and Mishi, hi ladies, how are you doing? I'm gonna add you to the list here. Let me get the list. Uh, let me get the list. Okay, the list. New Year's giveaway, that's the list. Okay, number 63 is Janet Burgess. Hi Janet, how are you doing? And uh, 64 is Mishi. Crochet Nook. And number 65 is Heather Nolan. All right, there we go. Got those ones up there so far. Welcome, welcome. What we're going to make today is I was just watching uh, Juan the Yarn Addict. And he made a... Um, sorry, my brain's a little slow today. He made a granny square to put together to make uh, a blanket out of. So he showed us how to make the, the granny square. I've never made a granny square in my life. First granny square I ever made. And I thought, oh, you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to turn it into a dishcloth. Because I need to make dishcloths running out. So I made the, the granny square, just how Juan showed us to, to do it. I'm going to put his link in the video when I'm done. And uh, what I did was I just did a border of half double crochets. And that's what we got. We got our nice dishcloth out of, uh, I call this stuff rough cotton. It's rough cotton. I got this one here, Crafter's Closet. I got it for $1.25 at the dollar store. It's not bad, eh? It's the same as uh, all the other cotton. The, the, uh, you know, the cheap cotton that we use for dishcloths. Same thing with this one. 
$1.25. And the same with this one. I already used it, a little part of it. I don't know if it'll make another one. And I got this one too. So these are even bigger than the ones that you get. Um, what's that kind of... Uh, limited edition exactly same thing right rough cotton rough yarn uh i like to use cotton for my uh dishcloths because they soak up the water well and i use uh, mia cotton which is a nice soft luxurious cotton for my face towels my face cloths in fact i just had a shower i just used one they're the best Heather, my goal is to make a very colorful paper chain for the Christmas tree next year out of granny rectangles. That's a good idea. That'd be fun, eh? You could make, like, things and you make it into a... Just like you do with the, with the... With the paper. You know how you make the paper chain? Yeah, you could do it out of crochet. That's really smart, Heather. And, uh... Limited edition yarn, yeah. Yeah. Heather's popping in for a bit. Still have everyone home. Oh, good for you. Cooking turkey soup and bacon bread. Look at her go. Hope to finish my crochet hammock tonight. Oh, nice, Heather. So, I'm going to make another one of these. Uh, I'm going to use this yellow. I think it'll be easier to see. There we go. I'll move these over here. I wrote down the pattern. Wands pattern. I wrote it down. That was Wands pattern. I guess granny squares are granny squares. I just happened to learn it from one. I learned how to crochet from bag a day. Hi, Joyce. How are you? Good to see you. I'm going to write your name down here. Number 66. There you are. Number 66. Just going to make a um, slip stitch here. Chain four. Chain four, make a circle. One, two, three, four. And then put your crochet hook in your first loop like that. Wrap it around your hoop hook like that, pull it through. And there you got a hole there. If you can see that, there's a hole right there. Now you're going to want to put, you know, chain three, first of all. One, two, three. That's your double crochet. And then you're going to do another two double crochets. One, two. Alrighty. And we're going to chain two. One, two. We're going to do another three double crochets into the loop. One, two. Three, chain two, another three, one, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute here. 
Okay, you got those three. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna do three more. One. And the last three, one. So we got one, three, one, three here. There you can see, there's one set of threes in the, in the chain two, two set of threes in the chain two, three set of threes. Now we're gonna do another chain two. One, two, one, two, three. Alrighty, now, again, we got the three double crochets here, two chains, three double crochets, two chains, three double crochet, two chains, three double crochet. Now we're gonna go, this is the first link we did. We're gonna count the three stitches. One, two, three. This one here, we're gonna put that through and slip that stitch. And now we're gonna do another two to make a total of three, which counts as a double crochet for your next round. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you guys making? Mm. Oh, you got my Christmas card. Very good, Janet, very good. Alrighty, now, what we have to do is uh, we're going to push this aside and we're going to see this little, this little one right here. That's going to be the first one we're going to stick it into. This one here. Two. And then we're gonna do that again here. There's the three again. Then we're gonna go into the hole, the space, and we're gonna do one double crochet, two double crochet, chain two, and then two more double crochets into the chain space. This yarn is really splitty, but I mean, what do you want for a dollar twenty-five? It's gonna be used for washing dishes, you know. Hey, Sarah Bear. That's my daughter. For those who don't know. Alrighty, we're gonna move that out of the way. Go into this one here. Sarah has COVID right now. Lucky her. So far I haven't gotten sick. Yeah, she woke up with COVID a couple days ago. And I was at her house. I was at her house on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. She got sick on Thursday. 
So I'm just waiting to catch it. So far, so good. Okay. We'll go here. This connection here. What is going on here? Something is not right here. Yeah, something is not right here. Something is not right. Okay, there, that's correct. You got the three, and the three, and the three, and the three. Your Michelle isn't feeling well today. Yeah, oh, Janet, oh dear. Well, all you can do is, you know, not catch it. Yeah, Sarah went to a party on uh, on the twenty fourth. I think she got it there, but then again, she works in the children's hospital. You can catch anything anywhere there. Red alert, what does that mean? I'm not looking forward to going back to work Tuesday. We're on a red alert. What do you do, Mishi? Where do you alert work? I'm going to put um, Kathy's name down here on the list. Kathy Whitney. Done. Okay. Hey, Barb, how are you? Becky, hi, Becky. Okay, so Becky is number 68 and Bex Creations. Sixty nine is Barb. Jovi, J O Darby, Darby, J A R V I. I got to put you guys down here too. The two of you for my shout outs. Oh, here we are. Okay. You have a channel, Barb? Okay, I got you down, Mishi. 
do my shout outs. I used to do shout outs every week. Then I stopped. Let's see what Mishi says. You love this daytime crochet hangout. Nice. Hospital right next door. Oh, you're a nurse too. I'm a nurse at a family clinic. Hospital right next door. Okay. I was a nurse. I retired uh, when COVID came around. And my uh, brain injury has gotten worse, way worse. My memory's real bad. I'm not able to work anymore. So I crochet now for a living. <laughs> no channel. Okay, Barb. I'll take you off the list then. <laughs> I enjoy make, doing my channel. Sometimes I wish I didn't have one. Put some angel biscuits in the oven to go with the pot roast. Oh, nice, Becky. Yummy, says Catherine. Shannon's always great to hang out with. I try, guys. I try. I like hanging out with you guys. It's great. And I like the fact that we always have our same crew. And, and um, but then we always get a few new extras who come around and then stay. I love that. It's good. It's good, good, good. Okay. So anybody who's news coming in, I made my first granny square. I, 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 I was never into granny squares at all. I didn't wasn't into granny squares. Um, okay, here. Um, Juan, the yarn addict, was making granny squares, teaching us how to make granny squares. It was a solid granny square, but. I did mine in a, in a variegated. It turned out nice. And what I, what I thought I would do was was make it in, you know, the cheap cotton so I could use it as a dishcloth or sell it as a dishcloth. So I did that. I, I made it uh, into a, a dishcloth and then I just added a half double crochet uh, border to it. And uh, so that's what I did. And that's what we're doing now. We're making another one. Super easy. Um, now we've reached the, the uh, chain space, so we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, and then two more double crochets. One, two. One, two. Christmas bags. Get some Theraflu. That's a good idea. You should ask Thomas to pick some of that stuff up for you, sir. Kathy says, two down, eight to go, but they're a quick make. What are you making? I'm working on making little six by six inch fabric Christmas for the grands to put their mushrooms in that I crocheted for them. Little bags? You can't even taste your McDonald's. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's been uh, she's been really sick, Sarah, and I've been just on waiting to see if I get COVID. And so far, I feel pretty good. In fact, I feel better than I normally feel. <laughs> All right, there we go. Christmas bags. I just did seventy-four chains of crochet for the drawstrings. Oh my goodness gracious! 
Okay, put this one in here. Becky says, Tuesday I'm going to become a pain in the butt in the double for the podiatrist office as I'm in so much pain again with this toe. I don't think I can wait until the 5th of February. Oh, Sarah has the same problem. Sarah has the same problem, Becky. She has a toe that's really bothering her and infected and stuff. Whenever she goes to, to work, she's getting it taken care of getting someone to change your dressing and all that stuff. Um, I'm off here. I'm off my stitches. Hard to see because this, this yarn is so splitty. There, put this one in here. There, that's better. So I got a new set of clovers. Look at my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful babies. Sarah bought me. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? I have an extra six. This is the one that Brenda Eisenman bought me. Look at, aren't they pretty? I love them. There. You just can't get into a specialist as a new patient for months. Ingrown toenail. Yeah, same thing with Sarah. Same issue, same problem. Hi, hey, Yarn Inspired. Welcome, welcome. I forgot what your first name is. Maybe you could remind me. Yeah, Sarah needs to get on antibiotics for her toe. Oh, I know, but I'm so sorry to hear that, Kathy. There. Hi, lovely crafting lodge. How are you? I gotta put your 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 uh, your uh, here. New Year's giveaway name uh, name and number. Okay, seventy is yarn inspired. Everybody that comes in to hang out at the lives or on your regular videos, if they leave a comment, you get a number. And then we're going to have a draw this month. It's going to be on the January 1st at the Streamathon. Lovely Crafts Crafting Lodge. There we are. Oh, she had surgery on her toe. Ugh. When I was a teenager, I suppose I had it froze. It didn't, don't think it worked. Oh, dear me. It did well for me. My dad would cut a V in his toenail in the middle to relieve the pressure. Oh my God. Yes, Jacqueline. 
I remember. I'm sorry. I have a brain injury. So, uh, I forget. Jacqueline. There. Sometimes the surgery doesn't take. Uh. Oh, no, 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 you're good, you're good. You get on the list. Oh, you get on the list twice. If you're here twice, you get on the list twice, Jacqueline. You don't just get one and one. Every time you come, you get a new number. So you get as many times as you come. If you comment on the regular videos, you get another number. What did I do this time? One, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. No, I got too many on there. Why am I giving myself such a hard time? Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, it's hard to see with all this split, splitty yarn and then trying to concentrate. Uh, and um, I'm not very good with doing two things at once. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we're going to do... Yeah, that's got to be that one. There we are. No, there. This is the worst yarn ever. No wonder it's $1.25, like seriously. OK. 
Okay. All right. Okay, we got our basic square down. Something that helps switching hooks. No, 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 no. This is my baby. This is my baby. This hook is fine. It's the yarn. The yarn is real bad. This one. Alrighty, here we go. There we go. Now we're getting in the. Now we're getting it. It is the. It is the yarn though. The yarn is super splitty. All is good. I'm gonna keep going ahead with the splitty yarn because I wanna I'm gonna use this as a dishcloth, so once you get past the first part, it's pretty simple. There we go. Yeah, I just got these for Christmas. These are my favorite. Tunisian dishcloth now. Oh, nice. Yeah, I would love to learn that, Becky, if you ever want to do it on a on a video. I would love to, to learn how to do that. I have to get a I have to get a a Tunisian hook. Anybody else here know how to do Tunisian crochet? There. <laughs> you did a whole series. Well, there you go. <laughs> I will have to go and check it out. I'll get a... 
myself a hook and then go over to your channel and learn how to do the Tunisian crochet. <laughs> I guess Sarah likes you, Brenda. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Brenda Eisenman. I thought it was Brenda, eh? Ah, wonder. Put your name down, Brenda. Number 72. Now what happens every month we're doing a draw. And whenever anybody comes into the live or comments on a video, you get a number and you get as many times as you come or as many times as you comment, you get a different number every time. So you get, you can collect a bunch of numbers. And then once a month we do a draw uh, for a giveaway. So that's what we're doing now. So every time you come in, I give you a number. Yeah, it's nice, eh? The Tunisian looks good. Yeah, I'm a pretty new crocheter myself. What I'm going to do in the new year, though, is I'm going to have simple, simple crochet tutorials every Monday, and then I'm going to have once a week, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to teach a, a stitch. So I'm going to get a book of like 200 stitches. And then every week we'll, we'll, we'll learn a new stitch on regular crocheting. I'm going to start with basic stitches, obviously, the single, the double, the halves, the front loop, back loop, all those. And then we'll go into the more uh, fun and uh, challenging stitches. Although I don't think many stitches are challenging. It's just a matter of learning them. So I thought that would be fun to learn a new stitch every week. How are you doing, Brenda? I was just showing off my new hooks. Look what Sarah got me for Christmas. This one I bought before. Now I have two of these because Brenda bought me one and I fell in love with them. So Sarah bought me all these. Aren't they pretty? Oh, you've been doing that with embroidery stitches as well. Yeah, it's fun, eh, Brenda? Eh, Heather? I know. I can't wait to see your hammock for your stuffies. Um, if someone could put a link to my um, Facebook group, down below and you guys can stick your photos of what you're working on in the group when you're done I love doing that I love seeing what you guys have been working on I'll show you my other uh, dishcloths. 
Well, I sold them on the last video, actually. No, they weren't dishcloths, though. They were face cloths. Nice, soft ones. It has crochet, embroidery, etc. I love it. Oh, nice. Picked up an old Reader's Digest. I got the same prep from your daughter. <laughs> Look at us go, Brenda. We got our daughters trained to only get the best. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that for you. I love that for me too. <laughs> Sarah's also sending me on a yarn shopping spree. I can't wait, that's gonna be fun. So when I'm done this and the video's all done, I will uh, put the link to Juan's video. He has making these, making the uh, granny square. So if you want to uh, have the pattern, watch the video, you can go over there and check that out. Hey, look at the book. My friend sent this to me. I'm a naughty, naughty hooker. And I've been using it to write patterns down in. So my own patterns and other people's patterns. Like the first time I ever made a granny square, I learned it. I learned it from the lawn. Alrighty, here we go. I guess it's a really fun way to make a dishcloth. It's quick, it's easy, and uh, fun. Hey, Sherry, how are you doing? Any books jumping out at you, Brenda? Yeah, I want to get a book. I'm going to put your number down here. 73, uh, Heather. I mean, Sherry. Sherry has number 73. You can keep going and make a blanket. Yep. I'd like to meet a lady I met on the LGS who lives a couple hours away. She spins, dyes her own wool. Um, um, my friend Bridget here on, on Queen Bridget's Crafts. Um, let me get her her actual name here. I can write it down. Um, I took her off the list because I shouted her out yesterday. Bridget. Bridget's Crafts. Queen Bridget's 
Crafts, I think it's called. She does her own, uh, she does her own spinning. And sometimes she dyes her own yard. Lives, Bridget lives in the town where Scott works and yeah, yeah, she's close by you, isn't she? Your son sent you a book on granny squares. I've never made a granny square. This is the first granny square I ever made. I, Juan the yarn addict was making them. So I learned how to make it. And I thought, I'm going to make it into a dishcloth. So I made it using the rough cotton. I like to use, you know, Brenda, I like to use the rough cotton for the dishcloths. And then I put a half double on the end of it. First, this is my first granny square ever. I like it for dishcloths. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using this dollar store cotton to make a dishcloth. Although it's very splitty and not very fun to use, but you got to use it. It's meant for cleaning dishes, so it doesn't really matter, you know. It's not uh, meant to be gorgeous. Dear me. I got a knot now. It's good to see you, Brenda. I missed you. Glad you're here. There, I got the knot out. Less than an hour from you. Yeah, Bridget makes some beautiful yarn. No doubt about that. It's fun when she shows all her different uh, spinning tools. It's very interesting. Yeah, you do that, Brenda. I'm going to send you the pattern if you want. No, it doesn't go there. It goes on the inside the loop. How are you? When you come into our lives here over, you get to put your name in for a draw at the end of the month, Elliot. Welcome to our live. How are you doing? Well, there's gotta, Heather's got to go slice some bread. They're getting antsy. The kids are getting antsy. I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? What we're doing right now is we're making a granny square dishcloth. 
cut to me by the one, one, the urn addict. Pretty simple, basic granny square made out of rough cotton. And then I just add a half double crochet on the top for the border. And that's about it. Do you like to crochet, Elliot? You do, eh? Oh, good, good stuff. Do you have a channel or you just like to watch? Hey, Pam, how are you? Good to see you. You like to watch. Oh, that's great. Good to have you. Stitch it, Pam, number 75. There we go. There we are. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're at the corner. What's, how many do I have on this one? Let's count it out here. One, two, three, four, five. And then the, uh, then the bower border. So we're going to do one more round. And then we'll put the border on it. And then I'll do another one. I'm going to do one other one in... Uh, this yarn, it's the same yarn. It's the same crappy split, splitty dollar fifty yarn. Actually, it's a dollar twenty-five yarn at the Dollarama. If you're from Canada, you can get the dollar twenty-five splitty yarn at the Dollarama. I wouldn't recommend it for anything other than dishcloths. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite stuff to, uh, you're also crocheting. I am finishing a dishcloth with the Afghan stitch. Oh, very nice. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get my, uh, hold on a second, guys. I'm just going to get my, uh. Oh my goodness, where am I here? Oh, here we go. Here we are. Okay. Coming back around to you guys. All right, there we are. Yeah, what's your favorite thing to crochet? There's my Facebook group. So whatever you're making while we're visiting, if you wanna take a picture and put it in the group, that's awesome. I love that when that happens. Um, what's everybody's favorite thing to crochet? I don't know what my favorite thing to crochet would be. Let me think about this. I like making little things. I like making blankets. 
but mm, I don't know. I'd make a lot of different things. Definitely not mass baskets. Baskets are popular and I make a lot of them, but I don't really like making them. They're hard on the hands. And I also like making, making uh, Afghans. And they take a long time, but they do make people happy. Blankets for babies, yes. Yes, that reminds me, Sarah's gotta ask her boss if we can make blankets for babies. I'm trying to see if Sarah can, if um, they weren't allowing donations at the Children's Hospital because of COVID, but I'm hoping that's changed now. And I'm hoping that us as a group will have a day once a week, like maybe the Fridays, where we make baby hats, baby blankets, baby um, loveys, that sort of stuff. And we could, uh, get them all sent here to me and I'd give them to the children's hospital. I'm hoping to get that happening on my channel. So more will be revealed. Sarah has to get better and get back to work first before we can make that happen. So I'm hoping. So we will see what we will see. Janet Burgess likes to make baby blankets. I like to make baby blankets too. I know, Mishi, I like making it all too. I like small things. I like making hats. Um, I say the most things I most often make are hats. But then again, it's winter. I like making shawls. Um, they turn out so beautiful. And they're fun to make. You know, you get special fun yarns and stuff like that. Here, here's another good question. What's your favorite yarn? If you could only crochet with one yarn for the rest of your life, what would it be? I know that's a hard one because there's different yarns for different projects. Different favorites for different things. That would be nice, but they're still not ex accepting handmade stuff. Figureless mittens. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, Janet. Uh, Sarah will find out at work. When she goes back, she's going to find out at work if um, if they're going to accept things for the babies. We will see what we will see. I think they should say yes. If you don't have to get tested anymore before you go into work. Feels like heaven by Lion Brand. Hobby Lobby and Brenda loves her Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. I love this yarn and I love this yarn. I love this feels like heaven. I love this yarn. Favorite cotton is Knit Picks dish yarn. I'm currently using Walmart peaches and cream cotton. This is the same as peaches and cream basically. Just a little cheaper. Got it from the dollar store. Hi Stacy, how are you? Uh, you're welcome Stacy. I'm gonna put your number in here. Stacy May. Everybody who comes in now gets a number 
for a draw at the end of the month. There we are. Okay. So I wrote that down. Um, I love, I love this cotton too, but I can't, I'm in Canada. We don't get that here. Brenda spoiled me with some one day. That was wonderful. It's all sold now, Brenda. It's all been sold and given away. Oh, they're still tested at your hospital? Well, it's a different situation. It's a different situation, uh, Janet, because uh, I'm talking about Sarah and working there and stuff like that. Like, they have to have uh, 48 hours of no symptoms and no fever without using Tylenol. So... The reason they don't do the testing anymore is because the testing is not really relevant to the the uh, nature of the disease anymore because a lot of people will test positive six months later after having COVID. Um, so they go by the uh, the pa the pathology of the disease is, is what it is. They go they go by how the disease is running its course. So. If you're free of fever for two days, um, it's over. It's finished. The disease is over and you can come back into work. <laughs> so that's how they do it at the children's hospital. Um, there we are. You've got the technique down now. No more knit stitching. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I got it down now. <laughs> no more knit stitching. <laughs> I, sometimes I do, though. Sometimes I get into the... Sometimes I go back to it. But for the most part, I kind of do a, a loop-de-loop -loop thing now. I go like this. Depends. Depends on what I'm doing and how I'm crocheting and all those things. We have patients that don't necessarily run a feeding. It's a mess no matter what. Exactly. It is a mess no matter what. If you test, a person can test positive and have no, 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 nothing at all. Like I might have COVID right now. I'm a little sweaty, but I don't have a fever and I don't feel sick at all. My nose is a little runny, but not bad. Like I've been in contact with her. Clearly she started having symptoms on two Thursday. I was at her house on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, sleeping in her bed, eating food with her, kissing her, hugging her. So, and I'm fine. I feel fine. But then again, I've had more, you know, I don't know. It is a strange one. It is absolutely strange disease. So I don't know. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any tests to test myself. I was supposed to get some from her when I was there on Christmas, and I forgot because we had said, "Oh, you need to," because uh, we were both sick. We were both sick, not with COVID. We were both sick with the gastro that she had brought home from work, uh, like two weeks before Christmas, a week before Christmas. So that's why I was supposed to get some COVID tests from her when I was at her house over Christmas, and I forgot. So she has all the tests at her house and she tested positive. And I don't have any tests here, so. 
I'm just hanging out waiting to get sick, but I haven't gotten sick yet. Which is good because I don't want to be sick. Like I said, I just got over being sick. I don't want to be sick again. I don't get sick very often. Like, you know, acute sickness. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. So we're going to do doubles now. I'm going to hear. There. Okay. We're going to do half double crochets all the way around now to make a border. Yeah, some people can smell when they have COVID, some people can't. It's just, some people get really, really sick and have heart problems after they have COVID. Also depends on how many vaccines you've had. Both Sarah and I are due for new vaccines. But anyways, who? So I'm going to go to Michael's for a yarn haul. Tell me what kind of yarn I should get myself. Thank you, Mish. So what I'm doing for the corners is half double, chain two, half double. That's what I'm doing for the corners. And every other stitch is a half double crochet. I think that's my favorite stitch. What are you, what's your favorite stitch? Shell stitch. Yeah, that's pretty, eh, Janet? I like shell stitch for uh, for borders. I use it a lot on uh, blankets. Another border I like to use for blankets is uh, back loop only. Do that around five times. It makes a nice little line, and it's very pretty. Basic, but very nice for, for a simple blanket hi janet how are you star stitch i love star stitch too i made a dishcloth with a star stitch just a couple days ago and i stole it i took it for myself i just took a bath with it we are going to add the lovely janet nash who is now john number 77 we have a new thing on the channel, Janet. Every time you come to the live, you get a number. Every time you comment on a video, you get a number. So any kind of uh, visiting um, of the channel, whether live or on a regular video, if you comment, you get a number. And then the added end of the month, there's a draw. So you know about that. Your jar crocheting mittens, that's fun. I gotta learn how to crochet mittens. I've never crocheted buttons. Break time, five done now, halfway through. Oh my goodness, Kathy. Look at you go. You're you're a hard worker. 
How is mom? Mom is good. Mom is good. Mom uh, loved her blanket. She just loved it. She kept touching it and said, oh, it's so lovely. It must have taken you a long time to make this. She loved it. Okay, awesome, Je uh, Becky. Can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to watch it tonight, uh, uh, Becky. Oh, ha, ha. So everybody's saying hello. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. Hi, Janet. Everybody's saying their hellos. Um, yes, mom is good. Sarah has COVID. That's the family news, Janet. And uh, I was at Sarah's house. She got sick on Thursday. I was there uh, Saturday, no, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So I'm on COVID watch. Stitching and walking. Oh, stretching. I was wondering. Time for some stretching. I hear you. As soon as I'm done this one, which won't be long. I will do a stretch. I have arthritis, so. But my grandmother, who we all got our arthritis from, <laughs> she told me that um, you have to move. You have to keep your hands moving. So that's what I do. There you go, Janet. <laughs> Thank you for your lovely uh, holiday card, uh, Janet. I love it. It's right here so nearby. I put it up with my other cards. One more turn. The visit was weird and unworldly. Unworldly? What does that mean, Becky? Yeah, you did it, Becky. You did it. You managed. I understand, Becky. Uh, I haven't been, we haven't had a family, like a big family visit, Christmas visit in a few years. And uh, I really like it. <laughs> I really like not having to pretend everything is wonderful. <laughs> I don't like doing that. aliens <laughs> off this planet. Oh yeah. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> yeah, families, family can be rough. <laughs> family can be rough.
Oh, what does Joyce say? Uh-huh. I'm glad my brothers did not show up. Okay. Yeah, that's how I feel about my sisters. <laughs> no offense, but... Oh, Janet says, sorry you feel so sick, Sarber. Get well soon. Let's see what Joyce was saying up here. Uh, so sorry, George. COVID took a lot of people. Good idea you had doing some hand quilting this year, Becky. A very a little every day, maybe like a temperature blanket. Yeah. Thanks, Pam. It sure did. Becky says, we have a nephew that's had both strains of the flu and COVID, and he was in Illinois on the job when he fell ill. Oh, no. Plenty of water, yeah. It's not fun. I um, I don't think I had it at the very, very, very beginning when I was working at the hospital. I was so sick. I had a migraine for like two weeks. I could barely lift my coffee cup. It was like way back in March of 2020. Since then, I had it once. I got it from my mother once. My mother had it once. And uh, I caught it from her, but I, I didn't get very sick. I had like three or four vaccines. I didn't get very sick at all. Okay, so there we are. There is our dishcloth. So you got lots left. I still got enough to make another one for a dollar twenty-five. Not bad. Alrighty, I'm going to. Um, I don't know which side is front. This is back. Sew this in. What are you guys watching during the holidays on the TV or on the videos or on the YouTubes? What have you guys been watching? What have you been enjoying? Give me some ideas of what I should watch when I'm bored. It doesn't happen very often. I don't really get bored anymore. Too much crocheting to be done to be bored. Terrible. I'm sorry to hear that, Joyce. Okay, there we go. Let's 
Alrighty, so there we are. Took an hour and 20 minutes. This one's bigger. You would think I'd used a different different crochet hook, but I, maybe I did. Maybe I used a six instead of a five. I don't know. Anyways, there's this one. There's this one. Better like that, maybe. A couple of dishcloths to be made. One. Two. Let's make another one. Oh, I'm a true crimer, too. Okay, so you guys are into true crime. You guys are into true crime. So I want to know what's your favorite true crime YouTube channel. Mishi, Brenda, let's hear it. Nilo, I think someone was saying hello, maybe. True crime when I'm working on projects. I do it all the time, Mishi. It's my favorite thing. That's what I do. I, I, listen to, I watch true crime or I listen to true crime. I want to know what your favorite channels are. That chapter. Oh, see, I don't know that one. That's good. I'm going to write that down. That chapter. Both of you. That chapter. True crime. I'm going to write this down. That chapter. That's on YouTube. To YouTube channel. Daniel Christie, Stephanie Harlow, Annalise. I love Annalise. She's my favorite. She's my favorite. Danielle Christie. I'm writing this stuff down because I need some more to watch. Stephanie Har Harlow. You know who else I like? Who, who I like? I like, um, um, Grizzly. True crime. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you go lay down. I'll come check on you in a half an hour when I'm done. Okay, love? It's like a train wreck you can't look away from. <laughs> Hug Sarah. Oh, baby girl. I wish I could help you. But I'm not going over to help you. No offense. <laughs> Goodness gracious, you poor thing. Oh, yes. I watched that one. Oh, they starved their four-year-old to death. I was talking about the one where they starved their 13-year-old special needs child to death. That was nice. Look at the things we talk about on here. Um, yes, you got to check out Grizzly True Crime. It's pretty good. Grizzly, Grizzly, Grizzly True Crime. There you go. Alrighty, so let me double check here how many people we got because we got a lot of um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
All right. If you're here watching and you want to get your number down and you haven't said hello on the chat, come on in and say hello. If you don't want to, that's fine too because I can relate to that. Sometimes I just want to, like when I'm watching my true crime, I just want to walk, listen to my true crime and crochet, especially Annalise. Annalise? Annalise, is that her name? Uh, I forget her name. It's right there, night up here. Mm. Annalise, yeah, Annalise, Tender Life. I like to walk, listen to her. She's so good at the storytelling, like telling the story of what has happened. She's so good at it. And um, I like to listen to her and just crochet along. And we watch this stuff to relax. <laughs> I know. That's why my daughter, she doesn't like it. She always says like, like and my friend, my best friend too, they're like, why do you watch that stuff? It's like, I don't know, it's drama. I like drama. I like the drama. John over at the Daily Scroll made me a true crime and crochet sign. Oh, nice. I have a, a, um, a cup that Sarah made me and it says art. Art says art junkie with a crochet ball and a heart. And it says art, crochet, and YouTube all day. <laughs> <laughs> his channel is would if i could what if i could all right i'm gonna write that down too would if i could oops got the wrong one got two lists going on here would if i could is that a true crime the daily scroll The Daily Scroll. I do have a degree in criminal justice. I would have gotten a degree in criminal justice. I have taken some law courses. So to start this, you do three, chain three, you put the, through the loop, put your little finger in there, like uh, run it through and do a slip stitch. Now you're gonna do a double crochet in the loop, another double crochet in the loop, And that's three. Now we're gonna go two chains. We're gonna do three again. This is getting on my nerves, this little thing here. Stick it there. One. Another double crochet. And the third double crochet. We're going to go two loops, two chain, two. And then we're going to do another set of three double crochets. One. Two. This yarn is much better than the last one. <laughs> three. And then two chains. And then the last set of three. One. two and three okay now let's have a look at our stuff here yeah this one's way better let me move these out of the way so you can see what we're doing here three 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 and three this is in the way though let me move this out of the way this little starting hoop hook. This little starting thing here is in the. Oh, let me get use this. Phone just told you you need to take a break. Yeah, I should take a break.
What is going on here? What I'm going to do, I'm going to just chomp it right here. There we are. Okay. I'm mostly always in my recliner with my feet up. <laughs> Except if I'm on a live. One, two, three. Okay, let's do that. One moment, please. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three. And we're gonna go one, two. There. There we are. Good, we're all done. You'd pull it out and start all over. Eh, it's a dishcloth. It's all good. All righty. There we are. So in the corner we do uh, double crochet, double crochet, chain two, and then two double crochets again in the corner. Pam says, yes, she likes the magic circle, and she has also been in her recliner all day. My hubby woke up in the cold, up, up for the cold, and I'm a little achy today. I hope we all feel better tomorrow for our family Christmas. Oh, I hope so too, Pam. Alrighty, now we're going to put a double crochet into each of the stitches. One, two, and a three. This yarn is much better than the last one. Even though it's bought the same place, same price, same everything, it's just way better. We're in the corner, we do double crochet, double crochet, chain two, two double crochets. And then we're gonna do a pull back. You see that little hole there? We're gonna do the double crochet in there, first of all, and then into the top of each of these three stitches. 
That's two. That's three. There. Yes, please, thumbs up, thumbs uppies for the Shannons, for the art junkies. Please, that would be nice. Ouch. I always forget to do that. I always forget to ask people to like. And then we're in the corner again. So two double crochets. Two slips and another two doubles. All righty, there we are. We're almost at the end here. One, two, three, and we're gonna close that right there. There. There's our little square. I'm gonna cut this one out right now. You know what I'm gonna do? Actually, I'm gonna sew it in. Okay, I did it. I made my very first granny square. It's ugly and I'm not sure that I did it correctly, but it's still going to post a photo. Yay! Brenda, if you go over to... If you go over and check out uh, Juan the Yarn Attic, he just put in a tutorial, a video tutorial on how to make the granny square. That's what I'm following. If you want to check him out. There we go. Nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, no. Good. It landed in the... <laughs> it landed in the garbage can. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alrighty. Oh, I'm glad you got your first granny square. I got my first granny square, too, under the belt. I gotta tell you, though, the granny square with this nice, you know, yarn, the, the, the variegated yarn, it looks good. I like it. You love the way you did the granny squares for your cardi shawl? Cool. Oh, your surgery. You feeling any better, Pam? So there, when you're all done, when you're, when you're, see, it's very simple here. It's four. You just do a double crochet at the top of each stitch here, all the way across. You do a double crochet in the top of each one. And then in the corner, you do a double crochet, 
two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And that's all there is to it. Super easy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah, the card is nice. Hey, pretty. I like the fringe on it. Definitely not the ones the way you did the ones in your shell. All right. Good to know. I imagine there's a lot of different ways to do granny squares. Oh, yeah, I bet they have whole books on how to do different kinds of granny squares. Doesn't somebody... Yeah, Brenda, didn't you get a book on how to do... Was that what you got? You got a book on how to do granny squares, Brenda? Your square is not square. I don't my square. One of this one here is not too square either. It's kind of wonky. But oh well. Time to make sugar-free hot chocolate. Oh, I'm going to have a hot chocolate later on. And I have some cream. It's mocha candy cane cream for the coffee. Mm. Yeah, lots of ways to do granny squares, for sure. Lots of ways. They do, yeah. Mish says, I made a bath mat with this solid granny pattern. Crochet with Tiffany Hansen has a great video on it. Oh, awesome. I love, I love Tiffany Hansen. Yeah. Uh, it's got my, uh, my uh, pattern for the... Christmas stocking that I got made for my daughter. I got that pattern from Tiffany. She has her own yarn now. Good for her. I love when people are successful in their journeys.
You have the book. I have that book. Oh, you have the book with the crochet, with the, with the, was it you that said you had the book, Pam? Okay, with the granny square book. I'm gonna get the stitches book. I'm gonna get a book with a bunch of stitches. And then we'll do a stitch every week. I'm gonna do a simple crochet tutorial every week too, so. Uh, that'll be, that'll keep me busy. Give you guys something to look forward to every week. Wait a minute here. Oh, that's okay. Oh, uh, hold on a second. No. There we are. Hate typing on the phone. Oh, no kidding. Posted my not so square granny with the book. Oh, cool. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, you had the book. I thought so. That block eyed a stunner. It is a stunner. Nice. She's going into into mer, into mer, lurking mode. Have to count for front panel lettering. There. There. I keep saying I gotta get a jelly seat for my big butt because it hurts when I sit too long on this chair. I never do it. I keep saying I gotta do it and I never do it.
to there. There we are, getting to the fourth round, finishing up. And a couple more. One more. There we are. Oh, it's around here. Okay. So, that's where we're going to end it for today. Basically, you do one more round to here. That would be five rounds. And then you add a row. Let me show you on here. Do all, uh, see, one, two, three, four, five rows. And then you do a row of half double crochet on the end for the border. And there you have a nice dishcloth made out of uh, cotton. So that's what we did today. We're going to thank Juan the Yarn Alec for the wonderful pattern, the wonderful idea uh, for me to make it into a dishcloth. I thought that would be fun. Hope you guys had a good time. Thank you, Brenda. Have fun with the crochet. I'm fairly new to the, and love to crochet. Yeah, you and I learned at the same time, eh, Janet? It's been about a year almost now. Have a wonderful time, Becky. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here, Janet. It was so nice to spend time with you again, Brenda. Thank you for being here, Mishi. You can just, uh, stitch it, Pam. Thanks for being here, Pam. Anybody who's here watching that did not say hello, that wants to say hello and get a number before we say their goodbyes, get in now. Stacy, thanks for being here, Stacy. Kathy Whitney, thank you for coming. Sarah, I'm going to come and check on you in about 4.5 seconds. Hey, Barb. Barbara watches, watches farm and yarn. That's cool. I like that, Barbara. Janet Burgess and Janet Nash and Mish. Uh, we have Kathy Whitney, Brenda Eisenman, Becky, Sarah. Uh, Joyce was here. Thank you for being here, Joyce. Kathy Whitney. Elliot, thank you for stopping by, Elliot. Come by again. It was fun to have you. And uh, Heather, thank you for coming. Sherry Having. Yarn Inspired. Yeah. 
Thank you, Yarn Inspired, for coming. Lovely Crafting Lodge, thank you for being here. Yeah. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you for coming. I'll put my little dishcloth here to take a picture of that. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'll be here tomorrow at 3, actually.